Gear, brought to you live from the class of 2018. We here at The Flash had a great summer filled with awesome memories, and we hope you did too. Today we have stories on the changes to homecoming, a new teacher who is bringing his optimistic smile to the classroom, and a behind-the-scenes look at how The Flash is run. All this and more, so stay, stay tuned for, for The, the Flash. Flash. Change brings opportunity. In order to keep up with the many high schools and colleges across the nation, ECU is changing their own homecoming. Emma and Chris have the story. For the past 20 years at Eastview, during homecoming week, homecoming royalty has always been a part of tradition. However, this year, we're making changes. There's a lot of things that are similar. The main one difference is we're moving away from individual recognition based on a school-wide popularity vote to more community and school involvement at our events throughout the homecoming to support our community uh, togetherness. This means there will be no homecoming royalty whatsoever. These changes are being made because... We want to continue to support traditions that are aligned with our values, which is community involvement, togetherness. Uh, the process of coronation in the past for many years has been very individual and based on popularity. Those aren't uh, the principles that we try to underscore in our school. Abe Joseph, a past royalty member, shares his feelings. It was kind of cool that like some of the popular kids got brought out and kind of chosen, but it wasn't that good because like they weren't really recognized for a true talent. It was kind of like they just got picked. Homecoming week will still be full of fun activities and events. Listen to the forecast and faculty for details. The piece to understand is there's a lot of excitement around uh, this change. We've been working with our district and other high schools in our district as well, and there's consensus amongst uh, the, leader, the student council leadership teams that there needs to be a change in what we're doing to get more community events and get people more involved, and uh, there's a lot of excitement about what's going on in the Homecoming Cup and uh, being involved in all these new ideas that are coming forward. Signing off for The Flash, this is Chris. I can't wait to see what new traditions form here at Eastview the rest of this year. Yeah, and as you mentioned earlier, Megan, change does bring opportunity. But one staff member here at Eastview is taking the opportunity to help students and make an impact on the school's community. Mr. Brewer may be a familiar face around the halls of Eastview, but he doesn't have the familiar Five, four, three, two. Mr. Brewer may be a familiar face around the halls of Eastview, but he doesn't have the familiar job everyone is used to. I graduated college with a degree in biology and chemistry. I got hired for one year at Rosemont. I uh, taught there for one year, and then the next year Eastview opened up, so I came to Eastview, and I taught six years uh, at Eastview, got my principal licenship, and I started uh, doing the tech coordinator for 15 years. After a hard decision, Mr. Brewer decided to leave his job as a tech coordinator and go back to teaching chemistry. It was tough. It was tough to decide uh, to leave technology, but again, I was looking for something new, something different to do. I think it's kind of cool because, you know, even as a tech guy, he's always in the hallway talking to kids. He's always coaching. So to me, it's just a natural fit. Even when I was tech coordinator, I still made my way out to make sure that I had, I had conversations with students and I talked to students and I was out in the building. And so that's when I'm teaching, it's even better now. One of the things that Mr. Brewer was known the most for doing with his job as a tech coordinator was bringing donuts every Friday. Don't worry, Eastview, you will still be seeing a lot of these around the hallway. Dollars to donuts, next time I'll be there. <laughs> yes, I do. I brought him last Friday. Signing off for the flash. <laughs> this is Abby. I've never gotten one from him. That's a good tip. Thank you. You know, Megan, Mr. Brewer and I are a lot more alike than you think. Why? Because we both love donuts. He loves them so much that he brings in a dozen of them just into school every Friday. Isn't that great? Yeah, but Jack, you're five one, and Mr. Brewer is like six eight. I think there are more differences between you two than you think. But differences make us each unique, kind of like every one of our stories here at The Flash. Each story makes its own statement and sends a different message. Here's Cole with the details about who we are as The Flash. Five, four, three, two, one. Here at The Flash, our goal is to show you the best news happening around the Eastview community while also touching on tough moments. At The Flash, the students research, write, shoot, film, edit, and make all content decisions in our news stories we broadcast to you guys every Thursday. All right, all right, all right! The stories we show our community are decided among our class as well as letting you, the people of Eastview, send us ideas of interesting things happening around our community. 
To send us a story or idea, please email us at evtvstudio at gmail.com. Signing off for The Flash, this is Cole. It's always great to be working with such amazing people every day here in The Flash. But, uh, Megan, what are you doing? I'm trying to learn the lyrics for Don't Stop Believing. Why? You'll see. Stay tuned for the credits, Eastview. Hey, Mickey, hop in. What's up, boy? Hey, how have you been? Yeah, I'm good. We gotta get to class, though. Yeah, let's get out of here. Megan, Carrie, Emma, Michelle, you guys wanna get to school? Hey, yeah! Hey, Emma. Hey, Carrie. Hey, Megan. Hi. Hey, Michelle. Oh, man. Flying. There's not a star in heaven that we can't reach. My time is spinning and I'm feeling kind of homesick. Too much pressure and I'm nervous. Cause I'm a dingy, cause I'm a baby too. I'm a baby too.